Ever wanted to set up a Sync IQ job in 1FS 8.0? Well, follow along in this tutorial. Here we are in our production cluster. You can see that we have the name Henson Cluster for this Isilon cluster. And in our DR cluster, we have it named Henson DR Cluster. And so now you can see we have two different ones that we're going to try to replicate between. Now let's look at some of the file shares to show us the data that we're actually going to try to move. We're going to be focusing on moving our research data. So if we go to IFS, research data, on our production cluster, you can see we have a lot of different files. But on our DR site, we don't have any of those files. So how can we replicate that demo data in the research folder over to our Isilon cluster? We could just do a one-time sync. So let's go under data protection, sync IQ. We'll actually navigate to the policies tab. And then from here, we can just create a simple sync IQ policy. So our policy name here, we're just going to name it research one time. And in our description, we'll just say, hey, you know, this is just a one-time sync that we're moving the research folder. We'll keep our job type as manual, but we could run it on a schedule, but we're just doing a one-time snap here. And so now we'll need to just pick our source directory. So remember, we're doing that research data directory. We're not going to worry about including or excluding folders. We're just going to sync all of them. And then now here's where we'll put in our target host. If you remember back to our DR cluster, it's 10.1. 111.158.215. And so we'll just enter that target host name. Remember, that's your DR cluster, and so that's where we want to sync this. So we're going from production to DR. And our target directory, we're just going to dump it into the IFS directory. Now we can just scroll down to the bottom. We'll keep everything the same. And now we're ready to create our policy. And so our policy has been created, but we still need to kick that job off. So we can kick that job off actually just by clicking on this view edit tab and start job. So you see we get a green check saying, hey, our policy job has been scheduled starting. Now if you see under the summaries tab, we're starting to move data. It's going to take some time because we're moving 10 gigabytes of data. So depending on the connection speed and the other jobs that are running. But after a few minutes, that job will disappear from the summaries tab and you can navigate over to the reports tab and see, hey, the job was finished. Took a minute and 31 seconds. Now let's verify it. So we're looking on our DR cluster. We can see that we have demo data folder and we have data in the folder. Let's compare it with our demo data on our production cluster. So research, demo data. We can see the folders match up. So we just created our first sync IQ job. Remember in your DR cluster, all your files are read only. So if you're going to read or try to write any folders, you can't do that. So in a failover situation, you can switch it to read and write. But default, it's going to be only in a read-only mode. So if you try to add a folder or edit any of the folders, you'll get an error saying that you can't do that.